to know. College San Diego. Hey, it's Silver Dollar. All right, before I adjust that weird intro and that crazy thumbnail, can we talk about this Blade Masters pack? What is this trash? <laughs> what is this trash, Decca? What are you putting into our game? Anyways, yeah, this is probably kind of like the biggest pay-to-win thing they've done since they started with the game. I mean, everyone was kind of up in arms a little bit when Kabam introduced, you know, buying tops in the Nexus. Uh, but putting in the mystery box and like full sets, I mean, I guess I can see if they're doing that probably, well, potentially to combat real world trading. I guess at least if you have the option, then you're putting the money back into the game rather than onto those sites. And I feel like I can never get on board with, you know, people putting in money to a permadeath game for stuff that you know, you're just going to lose basically. Like, especially if they're new players too. Like it's kind of a lot of money to put something in and then end up losing. Like at least, you know, any other game that you're putting money into, you know, Counter-Strike or League of Legends or Heroes of the Storm, whatever, any of those games, you know, you're getting skins or you're getting, even they're, if they're just for aesthetics, you still at least get to use them over the long term. So, yeah, it was kind of, I don't know, a little bit disappointing to see that, but I guess not surprising. I just hope that they can find other ways maybe to monetize the game. And, you know, they do, you know, they do have to get money, but I think there's just better ways to do it. Like maybe once a week or whenever do like increased drop rates in certain dungeons and just generate maybe more people wanting to buy keys or something like that. Like I think the real you know, the real push for them to get money should be through stuff like dungeons and that type of content. And even, you know, pets, like pets is kind of a good medium, like we're stuck with them now. So, you know, maybe encourage that uh, a little sale on vaults would be kind of nice since they put that big pack out. I don't know, I think they definitely got to be doing some more push a little bit harder, do some more aggressive stuff on sales and pricing and that sort of thing. I feel like almost every other game that has microtransactions, they always are running some sort of sale. Like you log into anything, you log into any of those games, they're always running something at a discount just to you know encourage people, just to encourage people to spend money on whatever skins and that sort of thing. So hopefully, yeah, DECA sort of gets on board that and maybe we, we see a little bit less of the pay to win stuff. But yeah, that's my rant, sorry, on the Blade Masters pack. Just anyways, can't complain, had a great month of the Mad God, and that's just one little blip, but that's what it is. All right, look at this Shatters, look at this hacker. I can't remember what the guy's name was, but bastard. Anyways, we're trying to learn how to Shatters as a guild. It's slowly working, less people are dying. We're going slow a little bit. Yeah, that's right, hacked client DCs, you fam, yeah. And then look, of course, because he rushed, he dragged all this stuff here. Ah, oh, such a mess. Okay, so that intro, where in the world is Carmen San Diego, Calais San Diego? I did that Calais video, uh, I think last week, and it was like Tech Mech had taken over Calais and subscribers. And then out of nowhere, I had this guy contact me purporting to be Calais. I'm not sure. I don't know if he is or not. I've been trying to you know, sort of find Calais, see what's going on. Apparently he was active recently on his channel. I don't think anyone's seen him in Realm though. Ah, oh, the lava, God, <laughs> we're all babies. No one wants to cross. Um, yeah, so I was looking around and then I did that video and then I got someone messaged me on Realm I Don't know, don't know if it's legit, but I asked him, you know, for some proof. Give me a little update on what's going on said, you know, why aren't you playing anymore? What's happening? Like, how do I know it's you? That sort of thing. So he said he got bored of the game, just just decided to quit cold turkey. And also it coincided with him moving to America. So it was sort of like a good time to stop playing. You know, he was moving, didn't have internet, computer for a while, whatever. And yeah, so it sort of seemed, you know, that stuff sort of seemed to check out a little bit. Um, he sent me like just a picture, look like could be Kale, maybe. You know, he's aged a little bit, but hey, you know, you never know. Maybe he smokes a lot or something, he's put the years on. Anyways, so hey, it was, we'll see. Um, tell me what you think. Here's a little video you sent afterwards. I think it could be him.
Hey there, Realmers. It's Kayla, your boy from Sweden. I moved to America to help Harambe. I just wanted to give a shout out to Deka. Thanks for making Real great again. To all my fans, I quit because you spam me too much. You're a bunch of silly meatballs. <laughs> I miss. I miss Mafia, but long live chest. Bye now. <laughs> S L V R D L L R.